Liverpool is a city with great heritage, and so it is clear to see why it was awarded the title of European Capital of Culture 2008. Liverpool is famed for its music scene and was birthplace to a variety of musicians, including Frankie Goes to Hollywood, Echo and the Bunnymen, and more famously the Beatles. Not only can you hop on the Magical Mystery Tour bus to visit the homes of the Beatles, you can also go to the Beatles Story, the only Beatles themed museum in the world, and to the Cavern Club in Matthew Street, the place they made a name for themselves. Liverpool also has many great cultural attractions. It is home to two cathedrals, the older more Gothic Anglican Cathedral and the more modern Catholic Cathedral, affectionately known as Paddy's Wigwam. There are a multitude of museums and art galleries situated in the city's famous Albert Dock, including the Maritime Museum and the Tate Modern Art Gallery. You can also see live shows and events at the newly built Echo Arena, which recently held the MTV European Music Awards. Liverpool is as famous for its music scene as it is its sporting achievement, as home to two Premiership football teams, Liverpool and Everton. Liverpool is also home to the largest steeplechase in the world, the Grand National, which is held in Aintree. One thing that highlighted Liverpool in its successful bid for Capital of Culture 2008 is its Chinatown, which is the oldest in Europe. The permanent Chinese community dates back to 1870, probably as a result of the establishment of a direct shipping line between China and Britain in 1868. As well as having a thriving nightlife and selection of places to eat, Liverpool has a growing number of hotels ranging from larger dockfront ones such as the Hilton and the Radisson to smaller boutique hotels in the city centre. But our best feature is definitely our people. No matter what you do in Liverpool, you'll always see a friendly face.